Hi, welcome to SAC TV. Today, we are doing something fun because we're bringing in the new year, 2012. Some think it's gonna be the last year, but that's baloney. Do you believe in any of that crap, Joe? No, man, this is Joe G, who's hey guys. web developer, videographer <laughs> here in Sacramento. Right There's lots of cool stuff. Your equipment's awesome. Um, well, hopefully, uh, it'll you know the world will be around for us to keep it. Well, keep I, us doing, we'll get I hope so because I wrote a song called <laughs> "See You at the Party" in 2013. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was in the bank today, and some guy was talking really loudly to the teller. It's true that uh, Cortez, uh, back in whatever the 16th century right. or whenever, um, uh, was planning out the calendar, and they. <laughs> They uh, only went up to 2012, and I was about to shout back at the guy, saying, do you know that back then we didn't even use the calendar system we're on now? <laughs> right. No, we're off by 50 years <laughs> in the past, so it's already happened. Already. Yeah, so I'm not worried about 2012. In fact, I'm excited about it, because there's right. going to be more stuff that we're going to be involved with, with the local scene. Right. In fact, um, I mean, you're doing your thing with Sack Rock Radio, and um, you're also on the field videotaping people. I mean, all kinds of people. Who are, who are some of the people you videotape for? Um, right now, I've been doing. I do a lot of freelance work. Mm -hmm. I've been doing uh, freelance for for commercial for commercial distribution. Uh, you know, anybody that wants content for websites. And I've been doing a lot of that right now. So hopefully, get some stuff on your site too. Well, that won't be hard, <laughs> especially on with interviews like this. Right. <laughs> Now, Joe interviewed me on, on his radio station, um, Sack Rock Radio, earlier in the year, and it was a great, um, uh, it's the only interview ever done with me about the history of Quad, like Quad. a video interview, yeah. and so we, because I was the program director of Quad back in its heyday, yeah. uh, the 90s, and... Um, when Quad was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> and it was an independent station, and one of the most successful independent stations in America at that time. And uh, so I got to know a lot of the local scene from that. You yeah. know, we had a local show called Sound of Sacramento. That's right. We played um, nothing but local bands on that show. Yep. Then I did an internet radio station in 99 through 2000. The first. Yep. And we had a, a, a partnership with the Sacramento Bee. And basically it was the first uh, internet radio station in town that played all local music 24 hours a day. Yep. So then fast forward 10 years later, <laughs> okay, that, that site disappeared in 2000, and it wasn't because it failed, it was because it, uh, we had, my business partner and I had other things going on. In fact, it, we had like 3,000, um, our audience was 3,000 people. That's right. Um, and now... Uh, For an internet station, that's humongous. Yeah, at that time, right. back in the dial-up age. Yep. Uh, but but now we're in this new era, and you put together your station in 2010. And um, how has that worked out for you? Yeah, it's it's worked out great, man. I have fun. I still have fun doing it. It's a uh, it's an experience on 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 my side on learning the aspect of audio video production, how to put an internet station together, how to get your friends out there, um, ex you know, exposure mm -hmm. for them. So it's basically like a mini. Uh, it is a mini radio station in the sense that almost a mini TV a mini station. Mini TV station, yeah, more than anything. Because you show lots of videos, like no. SACTV.com, although different business models. Don't you have your own server where you host all the videos? Yeah, I mean, uh, as far as like our my videos, they're all you know YouTube based. You know, I use those uh, links. To me, that solves a lot of copyright issues, so that all the videographers out there that want to be on SAC TV, they have to go through YouTube first, right. and in order to do that, you have to agree to their rules that you own all the video yeah. or content on your uh, you know video yeah so I, I like the fact that YouTube and all these other tools are kind of making it easy to create media these days yeah whereas back 10 years ago it was really hard with dial-up and I mean we didn't even we had an ISD in line which you know is a form of broadband it was all right and it streamed nicely but not everyone had good enough computers. A lot of people were still on dial-up back then, yeah. and so you'd get knocked off if you were on dial-up. Um, today, you don't have that problem as much. No, um, no. Now it seems that uh, computers are either dual-core; they're up to they're really fast. Um, 
Uh, what's helped the industry, I think, in the video industry is obviously um, cameras and and the way HD. Yep, the way HD has, has come about in the in the makes everything look better than the movies of the nineties. Yeah, you're, <laughs> yeah, you're shooting you're shooting video now that on a tiny camera mm -hmm. at HD that in the eighties, you know, you, it it surpasses that quality. Right, right. So it's really easy to upload, and now with you know you, YouTube Vimeo. They all let you upload, you know, up to I don't know, I don't know how many gigs now on YouTube you can upload of HD video. Right, everything keeps outdating as far as in information. I mean, five years from now, when people go back and watch this video, they're gonna say, "Man, that was five years ago." Yeah. You know, now we're in something ten times better than broadband. Yeah, right. <laughs> WiMAX or whatever the next phase is. Yeah. Next it's gen. The it, they say every two years. So every two years the the uh, the chip is getting smaller and the video is getting bigger. I mean, up to 5K right now shooting for for video. So it's let insane. me ask you something about your music career because you were in Cleanse back in the late uh, 90s, which was signed to Atlantic. 98. Is that the year you were signed? 98. Yeah. Well, and actually, it was we were signed um, 2000. No, it was 2000, I think. 2000. And just give me a synopsis of how far you went with that. As far as the band, or yeah. as far as uh, well, I mean, obviously we broke up, but we we um, you know we, we started in '98. I moved here in '98 from from well, I, I lived in Modesto before that, okay, and uh, which is you know a small mm -hmm. um, town, you know, it's <laughs> yeah. like nothing. We all know it if we live in California. Yeah, nothing there. <laughs> it's but, in uh, the middle of the state. Yeah, it's 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 not memorable, but <laughs> 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 but you know, I moved up here in Sacramento. Yeah. Um, uh, 98. Uh, the first band that Cleanse turned into was a band called Boneback, and uh, I remember that, that name. That that morphed into that. So um, Brett Bear, who managed Papa Roach at the time, uh, managed our band, which is Boneback at the time, and and uh, he managed us, Papa Roach, a band named Dredge, and I think he was doing Alien Ant Farm also. Hmm. So. Uh, needless to say, I was at the right place at the right time, but and yeah. you're a guitar player. Yeah. yeah. So I got to I got to be involved with that whole scene with everybody who got signed and sold. You know, Pop Roach sold 10 million plus records, and um, seeing that whole scene uh, get big was was very exciting. And obviously, we didn't go that way. I mean, we didn't stay that. Well, you did it. play shows, right? Yeah, yeah. Big we shows we, around. We we t we played. You know, we did our we did the little tours and all that. Like everybody would play the Incubus. You know. Um, so those, that was a big crowd, right? Yeah, Usually. yeah, yeah. We do those. Uh, there was a, you know, at the at the Colonial Theater that's okay. still here, right? Yeah. And um, so we had five, lots of fun doing that, um, and that was till two thousand one, I think two thousand two, and then I had another band called Poem that we were were involved with Atlantic also. So hmm. it was, it's pretty, it's been pretty fun, man. It's been pretty cool. Have you always been on the harder edge of music? Well, no, no. I mean, kinda. You know, it's been rock. Uh, my influences are still like Jane's Addiction. Um, I, I love The Cure, Depeche Mode. I love all eighty. I'm an '80s kid to the bone. Modern rock. Yeah, I'm an I'm an '80s kid. I love, although I was born in the '70s. I, I love everything that came out of the '80s, mm -hmm. and uh, it was really uh, especially because MTV was was huge. And that's, that's when you that's when it was good. Yeah, that's when you could watch. <laughs> that's when you could actually watch music. Yeah. You know, you could actually watch. Um, bands that were were obscure and you're that like, were well, emerging and right. doing something different. Right now, if you watch all that stuff, it's all the same bands. That's that's what I've noticed. The big change since two thousand one. Yep. Actually, the big change is there has been no change. Yeah. It's the same formulas over and over and over again, and yeah. it didn't used to be like that. No, I mean you had bands like Cake and the Deftones, and um, you know bands we're still going. We're still going, man. Yeah. And, and the reason why they still go is because. Their music is still timeless. It's still that they're, they're always cre recreating themselves. They're doing something different. Always. Their own unique sound, as, as opposed to copying another band. Yeah, they're always doing that, and uh, I've always, I've always, um, uh, pri you know, prided myself on 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 trying to be an original, and trying to always create, create something different, something new. It may it may not have been successful, but I know that 
being original is a success, you know, and that's that's I pride myself on trying to be original in anything. And I plus, do. if you're an original, then you stand out instead of blend in. If all you do is blend in, you're going to be lost in the shuffle. Yeah, right. Definitely. But if you stand out, people, at least in your circle, will always be able to think of that as a contribution instead of a theft. Right. Yeah, there's always uh, there's always theft going on in music. <laughs> I mean, you know, we're all you, you take from something else. All, something always comes from some somewhere And to else. clarify that, nothing I, is actually yeah, original. Nothing's completely original. Right. But if you take something from here and from here and from here and put it in a blender, then you do create a whole new thing. Yeah, definitely. And that's kind of what I do too with my music and yeah. my web ideas and. I just think it's better to be original than to be a copycat because if all you are is a copycat and people start to remember you for that, then um, it's a credibility burner is right. what it ultimately becomes. Right. You know? right. Whereas if you do something original and um, people can always uh, identify with that and you become synonymous with a, a, an original form of art, um, it sticks in the head in the mind i think longer people remember you longer as as a contributor yeah know? definitely i mean all the influences i've ever had the reason why they're you know uh you know hendrix hendrix didn't and, copy anyone yeah. for the record <laughs> yeah. i mean there was no one in the 50s doing what hendrix was doing right in the 60s. i mean it was uh you got people like that who had um that had not only ideas that were artistically you know great in their lives mm -hmm. so those are the people that I get inspired from, you know, people who are actually doing things because they love it and they're not worried about what they're going to get at the end. They're just worried about what they're creating. So. And that's what we're doing with SACTV.com.